Hi, my name is Tim Waldner. I'm here at the Superior Essex Fire Development Center to show you a real-time demonstration of the water blocking performance difference of gel-filled fiber cables versus all dry fiber cables. Now, as many of you know, water is the enemy of optical fiber, which is why all OSP fiber cables are required to block water in the tubes. Manufacturers use two different methods to block water, either gel filling compound or an all dry approach. All dry designs use either tapes or threads that are impregnated with super absorbing polyacrylate. It would be very difficult to show you this demonstration using an actual fiber cable because it's opaque. So instead, we are using clear tubes that are filled either with water blocking gel or all dry water blocking tapes. The water blocking gel we use is Superior SX PFM gel, which has the same water blocking capabilities as standard clear gel, but it's less sticky than other gels and cleans up very easily. But to my left is our water penetration test apparatus, and it contains three containers of water, two of which are filled with salt water, one of seawater concentration, third is fresh water. Seawater is very corrosive and is the most damaging of fiber cable, so it represents our worst case scenario. So let's start the tests. The apparatus is designed to apply a 30 inch water head pressure to each of the tubes under test. The tube closest to us is filled with PFM gel, and that is being tested with salt water. The middle tube is a dry water blocking tape, and that is being tested with salt water as well. And the tube furthest away from us is dry water blocking tapes, and that's being tested with fresh water. As you can see, water is progressing very quickly along the middle and the last tubes. We're using colored water so that you can see better progression of the water. Now it's been about 30 seconds. At this point, there's been no progression at all of any water on the PFM gel filled tube. The third tube, the dry water blocking tapes that contains fresh water being tested, that has apparently blocked the water progression, which is designed to do. In the middle tube, however, where salt water is being applied, we can see the salt water progressing very quickly through the tube, and now it's almost at the end of the tube, and it's only been about one minute since the, the test was started. The middle tube could be much longer, and the salt water would still not be blocked. In fact, now you see water coming out the end of the tube. In summary, we have just demonstrated that PFM gel and all dry water blocking tapes do an adequate job of blocking fresh water from migrating down the tubes, and PFM gel does an adequate job of blocking seawater from migrating down the tubes. However, the all dry water blocking tapes do not do an adequate job of blocking seawater. This might be an area of concern if the fiber cable is being deployed in areas where there's concentration of seawater or other high ionic water solutions. Thanks very much for viewing the demonstration and be sure to visit SuperiorSix.com for more information about our products.